Hey everybody, it's Helen. I'm back. So, um, I got another request, um, and it is for a silver club look. And, um, oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, the, uh, the request, yeah. The request is for this silver club look, and it's by You Give Me Butterflies. And um, it's very silver, a little smoky, and I've put some false lashes on, so let's get right to it. I've, uh, let me take my brace off, I forgot, I can't do it. I've already primed my lid with the Benefit Lemonade, so I've done that all the way up to the brow bone. And we're going to take from this, with our fluffy shadow brush from this first palette, we're going to take this silver color right here. And that's going to go all over our lid. So let's just get right to it and start on that. So you're just kind of patting and packing this on. Need a little bit more. So over the whole lid. And then I just like to smooth it out by kind of just taking the brush and just gliding it along top of that shadow. So, now that that's done, you can see, let's go like this, um, <clears throat> I'm going to take the small side of the shader brush and I'm going to pick up this next darker silver color right here. So let's just pick up some of that. And that's going to go in the outside corner, about a quarter of the way up, like that. And then we're going to put some into the crease, and this is going to darken out our crease. And these two colors blend really well together, so there's not a lot that needs to be done with the blending brush on the actual eye itself. So I'm just going to take the um, eye blending brush, and I'm just going to blend this crease really well. And then just to give it that little extra pop, I'm just going to wipe off that same brush that I used, which is this one. And I'm just going to take the next darkest silver right here, which is starting to get to a gray-black, but it's very, um, it's very sh uh, glittery. And that's just going to go in the outer V just a little teeny bit. And then just blend it out. And then with our square brush, I'm just going to take this super matte white that's right here. And that's our highlight color. And bring that all the way down in. going to take a little bit of that silver on the corner and pop it right in the corner there. There we go. And now with a black eyeliner, I'm just going to use the cover girl. I'm going to line along the lash line down here. Pretty much go all the way in with that. And then with our smudger, oh, this liner, if you have it, does have this little smudger in on the bottom, but I don't like it. I use this one. Just going to smudge that out a little bit. And then with the um, an angled brush, I'm going to pick up that darker silver color, this one right here. And we're just going to put that right over.
that liner. Okay, and now with a different angled liner brush, I'm going to do the Jean V Pure Minerals Black Gel Liner right here. And this is going to go on the waterline. And you're going to want to bring that all the way into your tear duct. Okay. So make sure you cover up your gel liner as it dries out real fast. So we're just going to take a little bit of that silver, the first original silver color, the real bright one, and we're going to bring that and put that down here. There we go. And now for the false lashes. I'm not going to do it on camera, so I'll be back in just a second and I'll show you that. Hi guys, um, so I'm back and I've got the lashes on. They take a long time to get on for me because actually this is the first time. So I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Lash Expansion Waterproof Mascara, which has just this brush like this because what you need to do is when you use false lashes, you need to bond the la your real lashes into the fake ones by using uh, mascara. So I'm just going to use a regular mascara and not my Rimmel because I don't know how the comb would work. So just make sure you really get the two lashes together and with a nice thick coat of mascara. A little more on this side. And now we're almost done. We're going to use, I'm just going to use the Jordana Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to line along the lashes. I started in the center and I'm working my way out. Well, I did work my way out. Now I'm going to start working my way in. Now when you get to the end of where the lashes are, because you don't want your lashes to go all the way in your fake ones, um, which means you need to pre-measure them and cut them, like I did, um, you're just going to make this nice and thin, and I just made it super thick, <laughs> because my arm is really weak from the whole deal. Now when we get to the edge, I'm just going to flick it out just a little bit, just like that. It's hard to see, but now because I did mess this part up right here, and I know we can't really see it, but <clears throat> I'm just going to take a liner brush like this. It's a clean one, and I'm going to take the color, whichever color it is where you mess up, and mine's the silver, so I'm just going to put some silver over that. And now as soon as you do that, wipe it off because you're going to get that um, liner on there. And just fix it up. You got to get it when it's wet though, when, if you mess it up. That way you can make sure you uh, get rid of it. So let me just fix this one over here. Here we go. So there it is, very silver club look with some really nice big fake lashes. For my lashes, where's that little box? Here it is. I just used some NYC 973A black natural.